Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I'm going to be doing a cloth pad review that I've been dying to do for quite a while now. Um, the reason it's taken me a little bit longer to do this review is because the lady sent me so many pads to try out for this that I wanted to make sure that I gave them all a fair chance. I always do at least two months of wearing them to make sure that when once they've been washed and everything they still work as well and all that kind of stuff. So this brand of pads is called Emila. And it's a company that's based in Hungary, and the woman who runs it is called Monica, and she is so, so sweet. I've spoken to her many times discussing all of these, and she sent me, as you can see, a whole ton of pads just to try out for you guys so you can see them. Uh, there's a couple of unique things about Amilla, and I'm going to start with the little leaflet that she sent me. She also sent me um, this wet bag here, along with a stain stick that you will have seen in my How to Hand Wash video. So if you want to see this thing in action, and it smells, oh my god, this thing smells amazing, I love it. Um, if you want to see this thing in action, go and watch the video I did on how to wash a cloth pad by hand. But uh, it's a stain remover that's homemade. And she also sent me some chocolates and some stickers and everything. And this little wet bag, which is so cute, I love the fabric she used for this. Uh, it's going to become my handbag wet bag, I've decided, just because it is so cute. It doesn't belong just sitting in my cupboard. So yeah, that was one of the things she sent me. But this little leaf here is what she sent me, and this is the brand Emila. And it's one of the best leaflets I've seen given out by a kind of work at home maker. Um, so there's a story behind Amilla. Amilla is the name of the company and the way it came about is that Monica was taught by her grandmother how to sew cloth pads the way that in, she's based in Hungary, uh, the way they did in the Second World War. And her grandmother sadly passed away last year so she named them Amilla after the nickname that she called her grandmother. And I just thought it was really sweet by the person who taught her how to make cloth pads by hand. And they've got a very good little diagram there of how to fold them up after use. I hope you can see that, after use. And also the different sizes she offers. So she offers um, different lengths and they are represented by different names. So the Aphrodite thong liner. Then there's the Aphrodite which is a small size and that's a light float pad. That is these two here that I have, these are Aphrodites. She also hasn't put it here, but she also does an Aphrodite in a moderate flow. And the way the absorbency is shown is on the label. You can see here it's like a crescent moon. Just, oh, there we go. There's a crescent moon on the end there. And then on the Aphrodite moderate flow, there's a half moon. And then the next size up from that is the Penelope, which is the one I have here with this really cute one. Oh, yeah with this really cute pattern here. And she does this in light and heavy, and you can see the heavy is the full moon right there. And then the next size up is the Athene, which is just two centimeters longer than this. This is 25 centimeters, and this is the Penelope. And they do tell you on the label right there what brand it is. Uh, so the Athene is this one, and it's the same sort of size as the Penelope. It's two centimeters longer, but it's just a wider version. And again, it tells you there. And this one's also available in light and heavy. So if you need longer panty liners, this is a brand you should consider. And then there's the Celine, which I don't have because that's the overnight pad and that's 30 centimeters long. I rarely use overnight pads, so I told her I probably wouldn't try that out. And um, that only comes in heavy. And then there's the Gaia, which is the postpartum, which is length 36.5 centimeters, and that's extra heavy for postnatal use, obviously. One of the unique things about this brand is the backing. It's actually a patented backing and it's made of the same material that Diver Suits is made from. Uh, it's not as slippy as nylon, though it does look like it. It's just as waterproof. I didn't have any leaks through this. Um, it's very thin and because of that, even the heavy pads you can see are extremely thin. Let me fold this over so you guys can see. This is a heavy... I can never do it this way. This is a heavy flow. So, it's very, very, very thin. And, yeah, so the backing of this has been patented, and it's the diving suit material. And the shape of it is very similar to a brand in the US that you guys will know as Party My Pants, but because these are made in Hungary, it's okay. Um, they're a very narrow brand of pants. If I grab the panty liner here, this is a really cute print, you can see they fold up very narrowly. And this is about 8 inches, and how many centimetres is it? It is... 20 centimetres, which is about 8 inches basically. But you can see just how narrow these pads snap up. And even the regular float pads, wait, this is the 8 inch moderate, which I use as a light flow just because of its length. See, very narrow and also has an extra snap to make it even more narrow. 
it really does go very, very thin. And then here is the Penelope, snapped up. Yeah. Helps you can find the snap. There you go. Still very, very narrow compared to all the others. And then the Athene is the wider one, but it still snaps up reasonably narrow. I'd say this is more around a uh, three inch width, or 2.75 maybe. But you can see it is a bit wider. So I have tried all of these pads out. They are very thin. The one downside to them though is that they do tend to bunch up, I think because of the back fabric. Let me snap this one up. This is the panty liner. You can just see in there, it's very slightly bunched up in there. And with the panty liner, I could notice it. I could feel that it was there. And this is just a little bit long than my ideal length like, panty liner. I like seven inches or six inches. But with the Penelope, which is this pad here, which is the heavy flow, which I actually used on my regular day, but had no issues at all. It does still bunch up, but I can't notice it because it's, I think it's just because it's a little bit thicker. There's another layer of absorbency in here. Um, I just couldn't notice it. I don't think it's stained. No, it hasn't. This print is super cute. So they worked really, really well, and I haven't seen any leaks from them at all. They're really comfortable. They washed up great. Um, and I just love this one because of all the little mushrooms and everything on them. But there is an extra bonus to this one because uh, Monica, who as I said before runs it, also sent these two for me for just a giveaway for you guys. So here is the Penelope Light Flow. You can see with the little half moon, crescent, uh, sorry, crescent moon there, in this gorgeous print here with two snaps. So if you need an even narrower width, you could try it out. And she also sent this one specially for Halloween. You can see that, and I believe I'm the first person to get this print, so you could be the first person to have it as well. And this is the, still all of them got the special backing on them in different colours and everything. And obviously the print there tells you what to do with them, and I think they also have some washing instructions on them as well. Yeah, so they've even got washing instructions on what not to do and what to do, so it's really easy for you to understand. So if you want to win these two pads, make sure you've liked my Facebook page. The links will be down below, as always. Um, there's currently a different giveaway up there at the moment, but these ones will be going up very soon because obviously this one needs to go out before Halloween. That'll probably be in early September. But thanks, guys, for watching. I really do like these pads, and Monica is so lovely. So make sure you head over to Amilla, and the website is www.amilla.hu for Hungary. And uh, I hope you like this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye.